What's up, Sagittarius, kings, queens, and everything in between? I'm Austria of a Mother Queen, and today I will be channeling the collective of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and Mercury in regards to a general versus message for the 23rd through the 29th. Please keep in mind the time frame is specifically for me. And whenever you see this message, that is when you are meant to see it. It could be past, present, or future. If it resonates, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If it doesn't, check out your other placements, Moonrise and Venus and Mercury. All right, this is mutual energy between you and the person that's most prevalent on your mind. And I'm sorry, y'all, that I've been missing. Uh, my son and I are not feeling 100%, so I had to get us back there. Um, um, I may still sound a bit nasally. I feel like I do. <laughs> so I'm sorry, y'all. But listen, it was either this or no recording. So listen. All right, thank you, Spirit, for clearing concise messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and Mercury. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, so we got Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Fire, Ace of Fire. Okay, y'all. So some of you are dealing with another fire sign, or this is just a relationship that's very passionate here. All right, so we got Patterns, Bound, Toxicity, um, and this is in the reverse. So I feel like a lot of you are trying to break some sort of patterns or toxicity, possibly to one of those signs or just a passionate relationship that you guys have, okay? Because I feel like you feel like you don't have anything left to give to this relationship, like this person just kept draining you, right? Uh, we got messages and dreams here. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra, but I'm getting a sense that, um, you know, this is something that you felt like you had to do. Um, you could also be having dreams about this person or dreams about a specific situation that you dealt with with this person. All right. We got stability, harmony, and flow here in the reverse. Just showing that there was never any, like, you never felt stable in this relationship. Um, things never really stood on stable ground. All right. We got air. Ace of Swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could also be dealing with one of those signs here. Okay. Then we got Self Worth, Expectations, Masculine. So you could be de de dealing with your divine counterpart here. Um, it could also be feminist, not gender specific. Then we got Rejection here, Lost, Fragmented, right? So you could have felt like, you know, you had to reject this person once you realize your worth here or vice versa. Also getting a sense of like no longer being tempted by this person here. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. Okay. Some of you are definitely in separation from this person. Look, some of you could be dealing with your uh, twin flame here or some sort of karmic love. Maybe someone that you've even known since you were a bit younger. Here we also have um, realization, uh, desire, lust, sexual chemistry, and then reconciliation. So I feel like a lot of you rec recognize some sort of pa pattern that you have with this person um, and something that was kind of had some sort of grip on you here. All right. All right. We got celebrating. There will be a reason to celebrate. Seeing through the fog, your vision, vision is getting clear. Hitting truth, you are seeing, you, you are hiding your true self. So I feel like a lot of you are coming out from a place where maybe you were hiding a lot of things about yourself um, to be with this person. Or there were a lot of things that you didn't see about this relationship. You know, they always say hindsight is twenty twenty. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and jump into your person's intentions. All right, so we got caution. Proceed with caution. Cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. Um, we got wear and tear. Um, this love is starting to wear on me. Something has to change here. All right, so you could be dealing with someone whose name starts with a C for some of you. I'm also getting that, you know, there was a lot of wear and tear in this relationship. Someone could have called the police. You guys could have had some sort of argument here. Also, I'm getting like somebody feeling like somebody is not seeing shit clearly. It's like they living in a fantasy world or some shit. 
okay it's a lot of wear and tear in this relationship though so i feel like this person is is you know for a lot of you this person could be done or they could just be an energy where it's like they don't they no longer want to deal with this um situation or maybe this is something that it's like the rinse and repeat of it y'all so y'all take it as it resonates let's see let's get a bit more here spirit thank you thank you some someone has a lot of pride thank you so we got the ace of cups here cancer pisces scorpio we got the page of wands here and then we got the will of fortune in the reverse which is leo taurus aquarius scorpio energy all right y'all so i feel like this is definitely someone that you know has a lot of love for you or you have a lot of love for them um or if the love is mutual um but i feel like you guys it's like this person is kind of deciding like they no longer want to be on this same roller coaster ride that they've constantly been on with you here. Um, I feel like there is a struggle here, you know, like things aren't moving forward, right? I feel like it's a sense of bad things happen when you guys get together or you guys aren't your best selves when you're together. That's the energy that I'm getting because it's also a sense of like you know you guys love each other deeply but there's a immaturity here right of not being completely open i'm also getting maybe this person is in a place where now they're interested in some sort of new love or moving on to something new in a in a in a like in hopes to get over to you or to move past this love we got the Ten of Swords here in the reverse, uh, the Hanged Man, and then we have the Knight of Swords, which is Aquarius energy, as well as Capricorns. Okay. Okay. So it's, yeah, it's like this person is trying to act like they're no longer interested in you. They are, but they're trying to act like they're no longer interested here because they're trying to surrender to the fact that a lot of shit has not happened, right? So they're trying to go towards some sort of new beginning by closing out or releasing this shit, right? And it's like they, they're very, like, um, they're very, like, like, uh, how can I say this? It's almost like an obsessive energy. Like they are intensely focused on this or moving on or leaving this relationship in the past okay let's see y'all that we got chaser if only there was a way i could make you feel my love irreconcilable differences a final divorce mirroring some experiences similar energy so yeah more of that um more of that twin flame energy here but this is also an energy where it's like you want to chase them even though it's over even though it's done but it's you wanting to chase them because you know that they kind of want to be with you too because you're mirroring energies so yeah like even if they're trying to date or deal with other people it's definitely a sense where some of y'all could be dreaming about this person because they're energetically bringing you in okay i feel like it's the energy of like feeling like this person is perfect for you or maybe this person feels like you're perfect for them. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for clearing concise messages. Thank you, Spirit, for clearing concise messages. Versace. Give me more here. Give me more here. Thank you. All right. So we got the Ace of Swords here. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Two of Swords here. And then we got the Page of Swords in the reverse, which is crazy because the Page of Swords is in the reverse right here too. So <laughs> I feel like, you know, you guys are in a place where you're also trying to act like you're no longer interested in, in this person or you're no longer wanting to move toward this person. It's the energy of being a bit aloof, right? But this is also a sense of like mind games also and a, a sense of being a bit self-centered. But I feel like you guys kind of feel like this is your only choice here. This is a sense of you trying to give some sort of boundaries here, right? Or being decisive about what you want and how you want to move forward in this relationship. Because like I said, a lot of you have an, an, an urge to chase this person. But your intention is to stay away from them. Seven of Swords here, Five of Wands, and then 
Yeah, see, look at this. Aries, um, Scorpio energy, and then Aries energy with the Emperor card. Some of you dealing with your child's parent, but this is definitely the sense of wanting or of something ending, but not wanting it to end or wanting to give some sort of second chance here. I feel like this is definitely a sense where there was a lot of um, sexual energy with you and this person here, um, but it was also a sense of like, it was a lot of things also revealed here where it was that, um, you know, or someone is overanalyzing something like maybe y'all were having sex and that was all it was, but somebody was taking it a little bit deeper than that, like overanalyzing the sex that you guys were having here. And this person was, you know, their feelings were getting hurt because of it. I'm also getting like somebody could have gotten pregnant here. All right, let's get your person's challenge. All right, so we got runner here. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? <laughs> The, the runner versus the chaser dynamic. Definitely some twin flame shit. We got catfish. Someone is not who they appear to be. Racing, running, avoiding, running. I'm not ready to accept what you have to offer. And this is this person's challenge. This person doesn't doesn't have it yet, okay? Whatever you want this person to have, they don't have it yet. They, they can't give you what you're looking for or what you're wanting from them at this time, okay? And I know it's fucked up, Sag, but they just don't have it to give it to you, okay? They're avoiding this. They're running from this. A lot of you, this person don't even know who they are to be able to give you what, um, what you want them to give you. All right. We got the page of... Uh, cups here. See, look, Aries, Aquarius energy with the full in the reverse and the King of Cups, Aquarius energy as well as Pisces in the reverse. Okay, so this is definitely the sense where somebody is definitely emotionally immature here. Okay, and this is why they can't have some sort of new beginning with you. This person is a bit self-centered. Um, I feel like this person is also a bit um, reckless. Definitely a toxic energy with this emotional, like, um, emotional, like, um, like. Like, uh, uh, like it's, it, it's like an emotional immaturity, but it's also like, it's, it's like they tug on emotions, like they play on your emotions, kind of the energy that they have. And not to say that this is something that they, um, necessarily want to do but this is like was a learned behavior right i feel like this is something that this person learned to do or learned as some sort of like defense mechanism they never really grew out of that and this is because of them being hurt in the past these are the same cards that we had before so i'm not gonna reread them but this is something that this person was um dealt with a lot in the past or this is something that they learned by watching their parents or something like that and the way in which they love here because i feel like there's definitely some sort of imbalance like this person has even a lot of like neediness but they deal with it in a sense of like cruelty right with a sense of like emotional abuse like your person um could be aggressive here but they could also be kind of depressed it's weird okay you know your situation but definitely let me know in the comments about that okay let's see your challenge here all right so we got watching you um watching you in your social media lights up my mood settlement agreement compromise growth you will grow from this situation so it's hard for you to watch this person move on or to watch um this person be without you or be happy without you but that's sometimes what you have to take that's sometimes how it has to be okay because i feel like a lot of you are in a place right now where it's like this is something that you're going to grow from you don't see it right now but i promise you will okay i promise it will happen okay all right let's see Give me more here, spirit. Give me more here about the challenge for Sagittarius. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we got Capricorn energy with the devil here. We have the Knight of Wands here in the reverse. And then we have the Knight of uh, Wands here, Leo energy as well as Cancers. All right. Okay. Okay, you guys. All right, so I feel like you're trying to release that, you know? You're trying to release the defensiveness that you've had um, and the mental trauma that you've had in regards to this relationship. A lot of you could also be in a sense where um, 
you could have dated a lot of people or always wanted to have your freedom never really wanted to settle down in relationships or, or been a bit shallow in a sense of relationships specifically because it was a it was a coping mechanism for you not to be hurt in relationships right because of a certain pattern that you had with this person or just a certain pattern that you had like you know when they say like you are always date the same person unless you deal with the issues that you have you'll keep getting those same fucking people get teaching you the same fucking lesson until you deal with the lesson right and i feel like a lot of you could have possibly dealt with that and this is something that i feel like y'all are trying to release y'all trying to let this go get over this right especially for a lot of you that are wanting to actually have new opportunities new healthy opportunities when it comes to love and romantic um situations here yeah see because look three of wands here king of pentacles uh virgo leo energy and then the queen of pentacles your energy here sagittarius as well as capricorns and the reverse it was like i feel like a lot of you were waiting to be on the same page with someone right or you had a lot of hope in a relationship thinking that things were going to change it's like you saw things to be a certain way you thought that you guys were going to be able to expand or something but it's like this person wasn't really nurturing the connection um for some of you they could have felt like you weren't nurturing the connection enough or you weren't putting enough into the connection whatever the case may be you and this person were not on the same page here and you had to realize that you guys weren't going to be okay and it's okay that you weren't going to be because that means that this particular situation even though that you guys look so similar or you look so much like on paper that y'all wanted the same things y'all just didn't okay all right let's see your person's actions we got dead something has come to a complete end on the table offer proposal commitment soul contract my soul recognizes there's a sacred contract to fulfill okay so so for some of you this person could be um you could find out that you're pregnant by this person or this person could be finding out that they are pregnant um it's also an energy where i feel like a lot of you this person is getting into some sort of new connection here and they could be getting pregnant in that connection uh, but i feel like this is a situation where some of you this relationship is going to be completely over with you and this person for some time and this person is finding someone else or starting a relationship here with someone else thank you spare for clearing concise messages for sagittarius someone venus and mercury thank you thank you all right, so we got the High Priestess here, Pisces Energy, Ten of Swords in the reverse, and the King of Swords, uh, Gemini Taurus Energy. So, yeah, this is definitely going to be some sort of secret, something that you may not necessarily know about anytime soon but this is something that you could have possibly dreamed right um that this person was pregnant with someone else's child or this person had gotten with someone else or moved on in some sort of relationship i feel like eventually though this person is going to make this clear to you this is definitely something that you're going to learn about this person you're going to learn that this person is moving on here with someone for some of you it could be someone younger here yeah some sort of new beginning is definitely happening and for a small number of you maybe this person will be coming back towards you to have some sort of commitment and new beginning but that is like a small number like this shit is it wasn't even worth talking about initially all right, so we got Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Aries, Energy, Magician, Aries, Gemini, and the Six of Cups. All right, so I feel like this person is trying to heal a lot of things that they are um, dealing with within themselves here. A lot, of the, a lot of you, this person is dealing with like some childhood trauma, something that they have um, kind of pushed away for quite some time and didn't deal with for quite some time. And this is something I feel like that they are finally coming to terms with things that which they kind of held on to or reasons why relationships haven't worked out for them because of the things that they've held on to um, in their childhood or just in general. All right. All right, let's get your intentions. All right, so we got 
I'm sorry, your actions. We got children. Children are important to me, and it's affecting our connection. Um, we got souls moving, physical location change. The grass was fake. The grass was greener because it was fake. Okay, so maybe some of you... Um, you know, this person tries to come back to you after they have a child in a way, or um, they try to come back to you after leaving or moving on with someone else, which you've already moved on to. You've already moved on to someone else too. You could possibly, you could have children with someone else, right? I'm also getting, um, like I said before, I think a lot of you have children with this person. All right, thank you, Spirit, for clearing concise messages here for Sagittarius. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we got the full card here. Yeah, see, moving on. Like, yeah, see, <laughs> yeah, see. I feel like y'all gonna be in survival mode. You know, you're going towards some sort of new beginning here, um, some sort of freedom here, some sort of new opportunity. Um, Aquarius, Aries energy with the uh, full card, Sagittarius energy, as well as Capricorn with um, with the with the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and the Five of Swords. I feel like y'all focus on yourself. A lot of you could be just putting in a lot of hard work and focusing on your career and shit during this time and not necessarily wor worried or focused on people here. I'm also getting for a lot of you, you need to forgive yourself um, for like maybe your relationship with this person. If th this person is trying to keep children away from you or if, you know, this person doesn't want to see their children, right? It's the energy of you forgiving yourself and realizing that you've done the best that you could in this situation with this person all right all right let's see yeah four of cups here yeah four of cups the king of swords Taurus, gemini energy and the three of wands you guys need to understand that just because you didn't want something and just because you made it clear that you didn't want something else doesn't mean that it's going to hinder other things coming for you okay or coming towards you because other things are still coming towards you you didn't have to accept bare minimum here baby all right let's let's see what messages we have here thank you ancestors and guides for clear and concise messages for Sagittarius. All right. Let's see more here. All right. So it says, I just want you all the time. I never imagined so much perfection. I'm ready. And this is the full card. I think so, yes. So I feel like this person kind of plays with you. I still don't have all the answers. Okay. So I feel like they kind of play with you. They kind of say, you know, I am terrified, right? So it's like they kind of come in strong and sure about what they want. And then, you know, you talk to your guys and ask about what they think or whatever. And they kind of on the fence, like, I don't know. You know, I don't know what it is. It, it's possibility, right? And it's like, then they, like, once you're thinking about it, they, they're like, okay, um, I'm, let's pump the brakes on this. I'm not completely sure. And this is them running and avoiding, right? Because they are afraid, okay? And then look, my life started when I met you, right? So I feel like this person is real wishy-washy, y'all. All right, let's see what signs you guys are dealing with during this time here, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for clearing concise messages. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, you guys. It really helps me out. Thank you, Spirit, for clearing concise messages. All right. So we got Cancer. Could be dealing with the Cancer. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be dealing with another Sagittarius, Jupiter energy. Could be dealing with the Gemini. Could be dealing with the Leo here, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I send it back to you guys tenfold, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.